Hey guys. So I've got the magnetic ramp motor here going again. It's definitely one of my favorite motors. And all these coils are in series. They're north, south, and series. I can't remember how many poles there is on this motor. I'd have to check. It's you can actually watch the build video of this motor. There's a whole video series or of the build. I was running it with the reed switch circuit, PNP circuit, which wasn't very good. There's 17 ohms here, and they're all in series. They're being pulsed. There's the current going in. Two times per revolution. And you see there's two magnets here. There's a ramp all the way around. It's weakest here. It gets stronger and stronger and stronger. You can see the whole ramp in that video I'm talking about. But this motor does some wicked stuff. It's I don't show it much. I haven't been using it much, but this is definitely my favorite motor, especially when you start hooking up the counter rotating. Uh, well, they're not counter rotating. It's like a another magnet that, uh, a rotor that uses the opposite side of the coil, but it's on its own bearings and the magnet spacing is different and the rotor itself is smaller in size than the main rotor which does some wicked stuff when you do that type of stuff I might be building something like that with this motor I'm not sure yet or if I'm gonna do a different one because I, I should have used my my uh, stainless steel rods shafts instead of this stupid threaded hole thread it works good for you know without having to thread stuff onto it stuff with the stainless rods but that's not very good for a bearing or a shaft to run the bearings on even though this one has ceramic bearings and everything like that I got the driver circuit on it, I haven't tuned it or anything, but what you can, uh, with these motors here, you can see it's drawing about 15 milliamps, with every time the light pulses that's the output from the fly back, and these are air cores. But what happens with these motors, with these ramp type motors, is even when you're putting the torque on them, they have an incredible amount of torque. It's crazy the amount of torque. But what happens, all you have to do is adjust the timing a bit, and it'll it adjust to the amount of torque you're putting in. And even though it draws more current, the amount of energy being used to turn it is the same because it's going slower. Like the torque is crazy, how much their torque there is for the amount of watts being consumed, it's just nuts. I built a motor like this with one of these ramps and it was running on a DC motor Instead of this type of coil arrangement with magnets, it just had a DC motor. The ramp was attached to the shaft. And it would run full torque. It had more RPMs than it did when you're driving it normally. Like just with, right off the battery without a ramp hooked up to it. You could run it like that and uh, it would run slower and the motor would get hot like normal motors do. But as soon as you put the ramp onto the shaft, and ran it with the same amount of voltage on the input, the motor would run faster and it would run cold to the touch. So I thought that's really interesting.
interesting because it has a its own it wants to rotate half a ro half a spin every time right so and if you only have one magnet with a counterweight to balance it and then it has a full rotation which I think is actually better than having two magnets. And uh, you don't want to overpower it either. You don't want your magnets too close to each other and I'm gonna have another rotor here. It doesn't work as good as the smaller one. Same magnets on it. So I've always had these motors around and don't show them too much. Well, yeah, there's lots that you can do with this. Just figured I'd share it anyway. It's really interesting to me how a small amount of energy is going into this. 13.3 volts. I know, like, you can see the timing right here. The only time it turns on is when you see that back spike. And these air cores are really, really nice. You'll just hold it so it's on. See right there how bright that is. It's only 0.200 milliamps. That's the output. Extremely bright. Camera doesn't show it. Two point seven nine watts going in. Another guy too is always commenting he's having trouble getting one of his driver circuits to work with his motor and he doesn't even have as many ohms as what there is on this. I'm I'm wrong too, I said seventeen ohms. That's seventeen ohms for half the motor, so there's thirty four ohms in total on this motor. And it drives it fine with only 13 volts. And if I put 24 volts on this motor, it'll go crazy. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to drive your motor with this circuit, especially with the higher ohms. There's 34 ohms in this one. And adding more voltage will make it go faster. And these circuits will easily handle 24 volts. So, I'm not sure. Well, you can email me anyway if you know who you are. I'll maybe send you a video of what you're, what you're doing there. I'll help you out. But if you guys got any questions or comments, them when I get a chance I'm really busy these days but there's more on the build of this motor in previous videos just look back to the magnetic ramp motor videos there's a whole video with the build how the rotors built and I can't remember I think there's 800 and some turns on each one of these I can't remember what it says in that video but that's what I'm up to. Really busy with work these days. So, thanks for watching, guys.